<laughs> yeah. I'm working to, to yeah. All right, won't be till later. All right. Um, Six-ish. All right. Jesus. Fine. All right. All right. to to just mash all this stuff up mm. together because I we always loved jazz and, and swing and that was always an essential part of the thing but you know I was really into Hendrix and Led Zepp and so it seemed just seemed kind of really if you got the when we got the right combination of people it felt easy to do that it wasn't like a big deal to switch the styles Yeah, a play what falls under the fingers and feels right for the, the 18 years we've been playing together. Some some kind of lines and just sound right with the music. Um, so, but simplifying because there's there's a lot of complexity in this music, and it, the older I get, the more I want to strip it out, and thin it down, and make it sound a bit more, uh, you know, less kind of technical and a bit more primitive. Everything seems to go back to that, yeah. you know. I mean, we, we uh, this band kind of jumped in at the later stages of Miles' and band, you know, Bitches Brew, maybe Lifetime, stuff like that, you know. And, and uh, it seems like it's kind of taken that course, but it's branched, you know. There's all but sorts there was of things, all net, you know, all that kind of side, and, and bands that had been massive, you know, just in that era, like Schofield's band, a lot of guitar, Bill Frizzell, things, yeah. all that stuff that was going on. And we used to listen, mm. well, I still do, to Sonny Rollins, Jim Hall. That was yeah, a bit of the, bridge, kind of, the yeah, bridge. We were obsessed that, with that, that record, record. The bridge. So all these things are in there, you know, and they're all quite different. Uh, it's, one, it's one big bag of influences, isn't it? And it comes out as, as, as what we play. You, know, you can hear loads of influences, but yeah. when you hear the band, it's, it has the same thing. We're all friends on and off the bandstand, you know. Are we? More, more off the bandstand than we are on the bandstand. <laughs> but but uh, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. It's like I've never really gotten bored of playing with these cats, you know, because they, they push me. It's, it's all in there, you know, and, and nothing has really changed, you know, 18 years later. It's still, you know, these guys are still some of my favorite people to play with, you know. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's Probably something, this is something that you 
no matter how great the band is, you, you're not going to be able to achieve this kind of telepathy, if you will, after a year or two. You know, I think this is something that that is developed year after year. You know, I mean, what you can't buy this this kind of togetherness. You know, and it's something that a year won't give you. Five years might not give it to you. You know, but when you start getting into ten and, and now twenty, yeah, it, it's certain things that, that will not happen unless you have these years. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's not twenty yet. Uh, <laughs> I think the challenge is to not write too much or just, just try and write bare bones. So, Because basically if you write too much, it's going to get changed anyway, so there's no point writing it all out. I mean, the, the music is not, it's not written, it's improvised, you know, jazz composers. The thing is to know when to stop, I think, and sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. What I'm trying to get as a saxophone player is be part of the group. Um, as a, like, like a rhythm section player. I think somebody wrote one time that it's a quartet that plays like a trio. It's really cool for me, I really like that idea. So um, I'm, I'm conscious of it when we set up as well. It's, it's not me at the front, you know, I, I, sometimes I'm really background. And, and it's not really um, a thing where uh, I'm soloing sometimes. It's like everybody's soloing, nobody's soloing. It's, it's that thing. So that's really interesting to me, to, to play with the, the preconceptions of what the music's supposed to do and change it up. We've all done things uh, together and, and separately, but you know, I think we'll, we'll all bring, this new album will bring our, the last three years of our experiences to the table. Yeah. You know? So it's going to be different no matter how you look at it. But it's going to have that spirit that's but it's still part of that band. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm one of the, basically we write the music between myself and Julian, so <laughs> so that's uh, obviously important. Um, we've got quite different styles of writing as well, the way we put things together. But also it's kind of, it, it, it melds together well, I think, so it all, it all works well. But uh, we do actually work in really different ways, so that alone is interesting. Um, as a player, well, it's, I was thinking about what Thad said about the bass. Definitely for me, a lot of it's about the ensemble playing. Again, trying to simplify things, trying to find as many colours on the instrument. Um, I've always been really into comping. I actually really enjoy comping. So, you know, to kind of uh, try and make the whole unit sound. It's a great kind of position to be in as a comper because you can you can duck in and out of the foreground and the background, you know, you can push the soloists in, in, in harmonic ways and stuff like that. But you're trying to be in the groove all the time and, you know, and also with this whole idea of changing repertoire, sometimes you're more free as a comper if you're in that role to just suddenly throw in an idea or a fragment of something else. Uh, it can be easier than if you're playing bass or drums, I think, because you're kind of not holding the thing down in the same way. So that's great. Um, what have I got out of it? Absolutely nothing. Uh, Two pounds. Lost my house, my car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, oh God, what have I got? I mean, endless fun on the road. I've had great times, a lot of laughs. Uh, musically, it's been great. I get, I get really pushed. Uh, we all know each other's basic kind of framework so well that you can't keep playing the same old licks over and over. So that's always great, you know. And if we if we tour, I, I feel that within you know one or two gigs, I think, wow, okay, I've done the basic kind of thing now. Now I need to really start improvising, and the whole band's like that. So that's brilliant for me. It's 
it's very challenging. You know, number one, trying to get the music right, uh, giving a nice platform for these guys to do their thing on top of. I think Thad and I are kind of responsible for just, as Thad said earlier, you know, bare, bare bone structure at first and then you know we try to develop it and and uh play is out on it and it's all over the structure but you know before we can do this it needs to the bare bone needs to be established and uh you know once that's established as as all our albums have gone you know they've uh it just kind of develops from there you know uh, uh, but yeah, I mean that's about it. It's very challenging and it's very rewarding, you know. And, and, it, and it, it is on a higher level than a lot of other things that I've done in the past. All the music that I've grown up listening to has been, you know, and vibey and energy, you know, from all the rock stuff into the jazz stuff. You know, it's a, I've always gravitated more towards the energy uh, while I can still do it, you know. Maybe I'll, I'll learn how to play ballads later on in my life. But, you know, for now, I like to uh, <laughs> shit all over everything. <laughs> 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 <laughs>